shall we just do it and see how it goes? I think so. On Wednesdays, we do crafts. Hi there, it's Barbara Anna, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to make a candle, hopefully. So I bought this at Target in the like dollar section, but I don't think it was a dollar. I think it was probably like three dollars. And it is a DIY custom candle, mix and mold a scented candle. Okay, easy enough. It contains everything you need. One glass jar, one bag of soy wax chips, one candle wick, one rose scented fragrance dropper, one sticker, and easy to follow instructions. We'll see about that. So let's open it up. Oh, I don't need scissors. <sighs> it is open. Oh, microwave safe bowl, not included. Super glue or hot glue gun, not included. Um, you told me everything was included, all right? All right, Oops, for the record. We have the wax and the little stick. Oh. Glass jar, I almost dropped on the ground. Okay, I'm assuming this is the thing that I need to glue. Dang it, dang it. And, oh my gosh, this thing is funny everywhere. To glue it in the air. Mm, okay. Gotta find some glue. And then here's the rose fragrance. Mmm, smells like a rose. Oh, and I guess here's a sticker. That I can stick on. It says, you can't see it. It says, flower and blossom. All right, I couldn't find glue, but I found this, which is Crafter's Permanent Tape. So hopefully that works. It's double-sided, so I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of this thing. Maybe I should... Is it coming up on it? I don't really think so. Oh yeah, a little bit. Maybe I'll... Nope. Okay. I mean, it's stuck. I don't know how well it's gonna stay, but it's stuck. Okay. Carefully glue, yep, did that. Image A. Yep, did that. In a microwave safe bowl, melt the entire bag of soy wax for 60 seconds intervals until it is completely melted. Do you think this is microwave safe? It's paper. Well, we'll find out. The heat's on. I don't know if you can hear it. If you can, sorry. All right, so my wax is melted. For the record, you can put this in the microwave, although it does look quite thin, so I don't know. So now I'm going to add <coughs> eight to 10 drops of the fragrance, fragrance, <laughs> fragrance into the wax. Oh, that is strong. Okay. I'll see. Now I'm going to stir it with my spoon. Stir, 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 stir. Great. Now, that smells so strong. Carefully and slowly pour melted wax mixture into the candle jar. Avoid pouring directly on the wick stem. Wick stem. Stem wick. What's it called? Wick stem. a little 
it happens. So I'm gonna let it harden and come back and put my sticker on, and then maybe we'll light it. See, see how it goes. Sound like a plan? All right. So it has been some time, and my candle is completely hardened. I also managed to sort of prop my wick up with a little stick. Um, also, it's a little cracked. Can you see it? Can you see it? Nope. Burp, burp, burp. Things. Uh huh. See, you got you got a glimpse. That's that's enough. So now I'm going to trim my wick right below <coughs> the. No. Once the candle is dry, trim the wick so that it is slightly shorter than the candle jar. So I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Snip, 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 snip. And now I'm going to stick my sticker to the front of my jar. Candle, candle jar. It's a little crooked. We're going to try that again. Stick. It's still crooked. You know, life's imperfect. Voila, my candle. Now I'm going to light it. Why not? Super simple, fairly easy. Didn't really take that much time. I mean, the drying of the the wax took a moment or two, but not not too bad. So, uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and follow me on all the social media, which is linked below. And stay excellent. Bye. I don't smell any.